Hey guys, welcome to Muse Themes. My name is Steve Harris. I'm going to give you a quick overview today of how to use the synchronized text feature in the latest version of Muse. In Muse 2014.2, um, Adobe's released this new feature that gives you the ability to synchronize text between each layout on your site. So what this means is instead of having to update text in three different places, you're now able to update it one time on one layout and it will actually synchronize throughout all of the other layouts. So it's a great new feature, but we do get a lot of questions about how it works. So let me show you quickly how it's done. And I'm using the platform template, which is one of the templates available on Muse Themes. So you notice on this area, we have an about page, and this is the kind of text block for our about section. If we look at our phone layout, we also have the same text block, just in a slightly different orientation. So this is a perfect example of where you'd want to use that synchronized text feature. So the first thing we'll do is select our kind of source block here, which is the main one that we've put down first. This is on the desktop page. Now what we need to do is we need to go to our content panel. This is a new panel in Muse. And you can see here that we have something called a collection. Now you can rename all of the collections anything you'd like. So for this, I'm going to rename this collection and just call it platform there. Okay, so now within the platform collection, we're going to create all of these little content tags. So let me undock this panel so we can see this a little better. So with this block selected, let's go ahead and create a new content tag just by clicking that plus button. So we now have an, this little content thing has appeared and it's selected and we can give this a name. So let's call this about text just like that. So you can see that this text now on the desktop layout actually has about text beside it in this small little bubble. So with this tab open, let's go to our phone layout and let's click the same block. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply this content tag to it. So if I just select the text block here and click on that, it says applying a content tag will replace the existing text. Click OK to continue. This is fine because I know that the text is actually the same between both layouts. So let's click OK. So now you can see that this block has the exact same content tag applied. So once you've applied it to all the different areas of your site, so your tablet version and your phone version, let's just jump back to the desktop version and let's make a small change to it. So let me zoom in. And it says here platform was created in 2001. Let's say that was wrong and it was created in 2005. So let's just go ahead and edit the text block. So there, it says 2005 now. And let's go back to our phone layout. And you can see that on the phone layout here, I'll zoom in again for you. It now says platform was created in 2005. And that's because the text is syncing automatically between this layout. So this is a really powerful new feature. And one thing you may have noticed is that the styling, um, in this case, it's actually the wrapping or the size of the text box, can be independent for each layout. So if we go ahead and bold this area like this, actually, let's change the font to something that we have, you know, a semi-bold option. So I changed this to Proxima semi-bold. And you can see it looks like that. It's obviously bold. But if we go back to the desktop layout, this didn't change. And so that's really a nice feature as well. You can independently style these areas. And all of the content tags are going to do is just replace the actual written content within that frame. So great new feature in Muse 2014.2, and I think it's really powerful and really saves you a lot of time for updating those multiple layouts. And remember, you can create as many content tags as you want within as many collections as you want. So go nuts and sync up your entire site. If you have any questions on this, please send us a note or post in our forum, and we're happy to explain more. Cheers.